You know, it's been said that if we really knew the past of every person, we would understand them. And sometimes there are some really difficult people in our lives. People that say mean things, that do mean things. And we don't understand. But if we had a wider view, if we could go back in time, if we could see what made them who they are, we could understand. And even more than that, we could make a connection with them that we're now blocking. If we find ourselves reacting to some person by thinking that we can't understand why he or she does or says something, we reconsider our reaction in the light of truth. And that is the key, reaction. See, we can't change them immediately at least, but something we can change immediately is our reaction inside of ourselves. We know that there is within us and within all people the innate ability to understand and to respond lovingly and helpfully to others. Now, sometimes this takes prayer. Sometimes before you react from your human mind and your human ways, you ask God for help. You turn prayerfully within for direction and for insight. You rely on the Christ within and anxiety and confusion leave you and right understanding of yourself and those about you, well, they're revealed and you believe in the power of God coming through you. You believe in the Christ in others and you believe in their ability to meet challenges constructively, to think clearly, to act wisely, and to act positive and in loving ways. Many times this will send forth a broadcast of spiritual power to the other person. You expect divine order to be established in your mind and affairs as you remain open and receptive to the right outworking in all the conditions and situations. And you give thanks that you will have a power coming through you, a power of divine understanding. And it says in 1 John 5 verse 20, and we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding. I believe it's one of the great spiritual gifts, understanding. Where you pray and you don't have a clue as to why things are the way they are, and then you have that spiritual aha experience. Well, today... In prayer, you give thanks that understanding is coming to you as a God-given gift. And understanding is being revealed through you as a God-given gift. We pray for divine understanding. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.